Hi all, I'm uh, John Samuel and today I want to talk about uh, um, documenting uh, historical monuments on Wikimedia Commons and Wikidata. Now, what I would like to uh, show you is uh, an example of a place that I visited some time before, uh, from the Temple of Augustus and Libya in Vienna, which is not far from Lyon. And I took many pictures there, and I think it's very important to document these pictures on, uh, on, on Wikidata as well as on Commons. So as you can see on this particular page, on this category, uh, Temple of Augustus and Libya, you have got a lot of pictures, and you have also got, got an information uh, on the right hand side in the form of a box. And in this box, there is a Wikidata item. So I will click on this item. And what I would say, I would like to see what are the information that is present. So we already have an image, so there is no big deal. We don't have to add a new image. Um, there was not an, any information about the place name sign, so I decided to add this information. I took a, a photograph and I took this information and added it there. And as you can see, this information is av immediately available on Wikimedia Commons. So you could see, you can click on show all and you have got the image, you have got the place name sign that has been added here. And that's quite useful because your the your picture sorry your category is not just uh, lying somewhere it has been linked to wikidata items and people who are multilingual speakers who do not speak possibly english language could come and find this category uh, on wikimedia commons and find uh, images for their um, uh, Wikipedia article. So this is quite interesting. And secondly, I would like to show another example because it's uh, it's also been uh, very well described. And I've also visited this place. Is this Gustav Adolf Stabkirch? This is one of the very few state churches in Germany. And it's quite interesting that if you go down here, you have got um, the Wikidata items. And here you see that you have got the image, you have also got the image of the interior of the building. This is quite interesting because you could also add uh, these images looking at this the data that's already available here. And you can add the image of interior. One another uh, image that you, uh, I recently added was the image during winter. And it's quite interesting because during winter we have got snow and it's quite beautiful to look at this building in a winter perspective. So this has also been added and thanks to this, you have got these images linked back to Wikimedia Commons. And one last thing that I would like to talk about is the example of uh, structured data. I think this is one of the pictures that I took. And when you click on the structured data icon here, you have got additional information. Some of these have been uh, done by bots. Some of these that has been done by uh, me. For example, I add that this image depicts the Temple of Augustus and Libya. And some of this information, for example, are coming from the bots. But it's interesting because you also have information about when the photograph was taken, what's the uh, copyright license, what camera was used to take this picture, etc. So there are lots of advantages of linking Wikimedia Commons projects and Wikidata. So it means it will help to uh, help both these projects at the same time uh, uh, nourish, um, I would say, feeding them with in very interesting information and making it very visual. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Siobhan Leachman, also known on Wiki as User Ambrosia 10. And today I want to present on the Wiki Project Research Expeditions. Now, here's our project page. Um, for our wiki project. The main goal of our project is to develop a detailed schema to describe research expeditions in Wikidata. And once created, we are then keen to use the research expeditions items to give context to expeditions and to link them to the other entities such as participants, locations, scholarly publications related to those expeditions and also to collection items, archives, artworks and images generated during those expeditions. Now many of our participants in our wiki project are also involved in the museum world and as well as the biodiversity information standards community. Some are at institutions that are really keen to share their data on research expeditions with wikidata. 
And those institutions and participants are also wanting to use the relevant Wikidata QIDs in their museum collection management systems. This will help them link the expedition data to natural history specimens and also ethnographic objects held in those institutions. Now to give you an example of a detailed research expedition Wikidata item, you can have a look at this item, which is the Harriman Alaska Expedition. And this is our current model item used for this wiki project. Now, although our wiki project is still a work in progress, we've produced an agreed schema to help guide those editing new research expedition items. And you can see this on our, um, on our wiki project page, looking at the properties. And it gives you a whole schema which guides editors when they're actually creating and enriching items on research expeditions. Now, as a result of this having agreed, us having agreed to this schema, we're currently aiming at increasing the number and also the quality of research expedition items in Wikidata. And one of the participants of our project, user Joaquin Santos 1978, has produced this visualization to show our progress. And I personally have also just received funding from the Wikimedia Aotearoa New Zealand to undertake a three month pilot project at, a, at the New Zealand's National Museum of Te Papa. And we'll be working with Te Papa staff, testing out the research expedition schema and adding Te Papa research expedition data to Wikidata. I'll also be helping train their employees as well as undertaking outreach work with other New Zealand based natural history institutions. And I'm intending to produce a report on this project, um, this mini pilot project, um, explaining the challenges and also hopefully the successes of this um, project. Now, my hope is that this, this pilot project will feed into the best practice documentation that our Wiki Project Research Expedition participants are aiming to produce. We're intending to produce documentation that also gives guidance on the reuse of Wikidata QIDs in museum collection management systems. And this is intended that all these documents are going to be openly licensed and shared widely with the Wikidata community. And all this work goes towards expanding the biodiversity knowledge graph and providing context about research expeditions and their contributions to biodiversity and ethnographic knowledge. So if you're interested in getting in touch with us, or if you want to attend our meetings, or even if you have any queries, please see our talk page, which you can see here. And also, of course, please feel free to reach out to me and have a great time with your Wikidata editing. Hello, everyone. My name is Sandra. I am user spinster on the wikis and um, I like to spend uh, a lot of my free time on Wikidata and I, I am interested in many topics. One of them is uh, something that probably many of you will have in your surroundings and that is sculptures and public artworks like, you know, statues in your town, in your city, memorials, etc. I am here looking at uh, a part of Wikimedia Commons, a category on Wikimedia Commons where you see the sculptures in one town in the Netherlands. It is the town of Lisse, that's a small town in the center of the Netherlands. And as you can see, when you scroll down, there are quite a few pictures of public artworks of sculptures that have been made by Wikipedians uh, before. I will zoom in a little bit so that you get an impression of the kind of pictures you see here. And each of these single artworks uh, in, this pic in this category is actually notable for Wikidata, so it can have a Wikidata item. Um, while preparing for this session, I uh, looked at the various sculptures that are here in this category, and I particularly like this one. Um, this session or this demo is being recorded the day after Valentine's Day, and I this sculpture is about two people who love each other, they hug each other, and uh, it's a very elegant sculpture by Kees Verkade, who is a famous uh, sculptor from the Netherlands. And um, certainly this uh, sculpture can have a Wikidata item, so it is notable for Wikidata. I am going to add a Wikidata item for this sculpture. Now, what kind of tools do I use for that? Um, 
I first uh, always refer to a wiki project. So many topics on Wikidata, if not most, have um, related wiki projects. And we do have a wiki project about public art. Uh, I'm showing it here with information about, you know, what kind of works you can describe with a with project. And usually the wiki projects also have information on what is called the data model, uh, which is the best practice on how to describe the work on Wikidata. So if you are in doubt on, okay, what properties should I use? What kind of, you know, data should I put together to describe something? Always go to the Wiki project and you will usually find information on the data model. And like here, if you scroll down, you see that you see a table that, uh, okay, works do get a P31 instance of statements. They always get a genre, they always, yeah, depending on if you have it available, they get an image, uh, a date when the work was created, country, etc. So I'm going to follow this, this convention. Um, because I edit public art all the time, I already know this by heart, so for me it has become routine, but if you're a beginner, this is very, very much a good place to look for inspiration. And then it is also good practice on Wikidata to add references. So not just to invent uh, information and put it out there because, you know, you have heard about it, but also to refer to sources. And so I have also looked up various websites that have information about this work. And I found one website from the city of Lisse that has information about this work. So you see that this is an official website with some information about the artist and you see the place where it is, you see the material, you see the year when the work was created. And I also found a second website that's an international website about sculptures and statues and that also has the, the same information you see. This also says the work was created in 2011. And I am going to refer to these two websites as references. Now, how do I get started? Um, First, I, of course, go to Wikidata itself, and it's always best practice to first search whether your item doesn't exist yet, because Wikidata is a big project with many enthusiastic volunteers, and maybe someone has already created an item for this work. So I will just type Circle of Love, which is the title of the work. Circle of Love, and if I click here, I search for all the pages that contain this word. And I can see that I have 35 results, so there are 35 things on Wikidata that are somehow related to a kind of circle of love. And, well, there's an album, there's some music stuff in here, uh, there's a song, um, there's a film called like that, some TV programs. But then, yeah, I start to see other things, but not, I verified this before, there is not an item for the sculpture yet, so I can create the the, the the item for the sculpture. So I will click on create a new item and then um, I will get a prompt to just start typing. So um, in English, I could also start typing in Dutch, which is my native language, but the work has an English title, so I will type it in English as well. Circle of love. And then um, a short description. We always start a description without a big, uh, without a capital, so with small letters. Um, I will call it sculpture by the name of the artist is Kees Verkade. I will just copy his name and paste it. Sculpture by Kees Verkade in Lisse, the Netherlands. So descriptions are always pretty brief. Uh, they describe it very quickly uh, and they start with a small letter. And then I say create. And then I will have an empty Wikidata item, basically. So you see here that the bits of information I added are present here, but then I have no statements yet, no connections to Wikimedia Commons or anything. And then I can start adding statements, and then I will use the data model that I mentioned that is uh, actually laid out in the Wiki project, but I know it by heart. So I will just do it from memory here. So I will say things like, this is an instance of a sculpture, a three-dimensional work of art. This is the correct one. I say publish, and then I will only add some basic 
big bits of data, it can be uh, enriched later. The creator is Kees Verkade. Here we have his uh, Wikidata item that pops up as, as an option. So this is the guy. Um, the work was created in 2011. So the creation date that you describe with inception statement. So I say inception. It also gives me inception already as, a, as an option. Then we see it's in the year 2011. I say publish. And what else can I say about the work? It is in, um, well, we, we usually say located in the administrative territorial entity. So we say the municipality um, located this one. And then I look up the item for Lisse, which is the town in the Netherlands. Yes, that's the one, village and municipality in South Holland, the Netherlands, et cetera, et cetera. Um, other things to add, just for a demo, I will keep this quite short, but other things to add would be, um, yeah, the image, I will still do that. So I copy the file name here. I just copy paste this and then I say image. I can also add the country later. Image here. There we go. And then tada, we also see the image appearing here. Well, this is already a very basic Wikidata item. Um, I, I should add a bit more statements later, so I will keep it short for the demo, but things to add are the genre. Um, I will do that <laughs> because that's a convention in the Wiki project that we say the genre is public art. And that way we can easily find all public artworks around the world by saying genre is public art. That's a convention in the Wiki project. Here we go. And there's other stuff to add, like, um, let's see, the country. Um, if we would know the location, maybe, I don't know, a park, you would add the park. The coordinates, you can look up the coordinates of the work on Google Maps, for instance, or on OpenStreetMap and add those as well. Uh, the material, we could add that. That is mentioned in a few of these websites. So these are all things that are interesting to add. Um, I, for the sake of the demo, I will keep this brief. I will add mo one more thing that is important to add, and that is the reference. So I will add sources to the statements. And one of the sources I've used is this specific website um, that mentions the name of the artist. And um, for instance, also, of course, that it is in uh, the city of Lisse. So you see that here that is mentioned. The title is mentioned here. Um, the year is mentioned there. So I will add that to those statements. And let me see. Um, for instance, I will add a reference to this statement. And I just say reference URL. I paste that URL here. And then I, I usually also add um, the retrieve date of uh, my statement. So I add the date of today, which is the 15th of um February in 2024. So that people who see the Wikidata item afterwards, they always see, okay, this Wikidata item has been added or modified based on this source on this specific date. That is good practice to do that. And then I say publish. And in this way, I have added this reference. And now I can also add this reference to other statements as well. So I can also add it to the inception, to the creator, etc. Um, well, these are some basics, and um, this is basically how you continue to build an item and um, a very simple way to contribute to Wikidata.